So welcome guys to this video. As you can tell, I'm gonna be going over my sunglasses collection because I've already exhibited one sunglasses or a pair of sunglasses on my face for the purpose of this video. Plus, these are prescription sunglasses which makes it easier for me to see because you may have realized I kind of wear normal glasses generally in every video because, you know, I, I don't have great eyesight. So. With summer coming up around the corner, guys, um, next month, obviously, uh, everyone's gonna be either getting out their old pair of sunglasses or they're gonna be getting a new pair of sunglasses. So I'm gonna be going over my collection in this video. So if you wanna check out my collection, you wanna see which ones I own, which ones I wear over the summer, then keep tuned. I'm gonna be going over that shortly. Let's get started. Right guys, thank you for checking out this video. I greatly appreciate it. For those that have not already subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe, hit the subscribe button below this video, hit the notification bell and hit the like button if you do like this video. So, like I advised initially, I'm gonna be going over my sunglasses collection. So, I've already got one pair on, let's just start with that one. So, this one here is by the brand Tom Ford, uh, let's have a look, yeah, Tom Ford, and it's a TF248 model, uh, just to let you know, all my sunglasses are prescription sunglasses, uh, I don't wear normal ones because obviously I, I don't have clear vision, so yeah, I have to opt for prescription sunglasses, but yeah, this is the design here, so it's got a, how do you say, a tortoise uh, colour frame, and then it's got darker lenses to boot. So that's kind of how it looks. And I'll just put it back on again so you can see. So yeah, that's how it looks. So if I just do a sideward view, if, you know, like this, and then, yeah. And I think these look quite stylish. It is a unisex frame. And these actually, I think, two, two years old. So yeah, it's kind of got, how do you say, a it's similar to a, what's it called? is it the club master i've got something that's very similar but smaller in the ray-ban model it's very similar to one of the ray-ban models and uh but it's tom ford and it's got quite a robust frame it's made solid so yeah this is a wonderful frame it looks great as you can see on and yeah it's high quality so that is my first Frame. I've actually just got my foundation onto uh, the inner pegs that sit on the nose. So that's a great start, guys. So that's the first one. So we're going to move on to the next frames, guys. Oh, just to show you guys, the Tom Fords were housed in this case here. So it's a solid case uh, with a smooth surface. The next sunglasses I'm going to be showing you is by the brand Ray-Ban. So it just comes in their generic black case. It's not their leather one. It's the, how do you say it? It's kind of like, um, I'm not sure what material it is, but it's not a leather frame. And yeah, it just comes in this black case. And this is the, which model is this? Let me actually clean the lens because it looks a tad dusty. I won't have to use my shirt because I can't find a cloth when you need it. So let's give it a good clean. It doesn't look nice to wear a pair of dusty glasses for the purpose of this video. So yeah, so these are RB3507 and it's a polarized one and it's made in Italy. So this is how it looks like. It's uh, black lenses, black frame with gold accents. And yeah, let's put it on. Let's see how this looks. What do you think, guys? Would you prefer, do you prefer these ones or do you prefer the Tom Fords? They're pretty much identical in style. However, this one is a little bit smaller in comparison to that one. So that's how it looks from the front. If I do a side view and in terms of the pricing guys uh for all of these i'm not gonna have them for 
I think the other model, the most, um, most I'm going to show you predominantly because I uh, haven't brought them recently. The only ones I've brought recently is the Saint Laurent ones or Saint Laurent, whatever it's called, Saint Laurent or yeah, whatever. Uh, that's the only recent ones I've purchased and I can obviously give you a price for that and you have to bear in mind that mine's always going to cost a bit more because I'm putting prescription lenses into them so that's something to bear in mind but yeah these are the Ray-Bans um, and it's got the polarized polarized lens I think for these actually I remember at the top of my head including um, their prescription lens if these are actually I think about 250 pounds but this was like four years ago now so that's one thing to bear in mind with Ray-Bans if you do buy any of their glasses especially the pairs that have been around for a long long time where they don't change the design you can buy rest assured that it still be popular in the next five to ten years because you know these have been around these designs for a very very long time so that's something to bear in mind specifically with the Ray-Ban um, models there's specific ones that have lasted a very long time like the Wayfarers these ones for example and I think some others as well but yeah very nice pair again I've just coated the inner the inner uh, pegs with um foundations i'm up this way i'm not gonna have any foundation left on my nose so yep that's the ray-ban so yeah i mean guys you have to bear in mind before you spend money on um sunglasses when i watch a lot of videos lots of people say that they actually lose their sunglasses fairly quick and if that's the case i wouldn't go investing a lot of money luckily for me i don't lose things i've had uh, sunglasses for a very very long time I'll show you one pet that I've had over six years now and I haven't lost it so I do take good care of them but if you uh, obviously if you can't do that then I wouldn't recommend buying an expensive pair I will show you if you're interested for those that are looking for a cheaper pair of sunglasses I have got a brand in mind which I can show you um, in the next video I, I need to purchase the sunglasses and I'll show you it's quite cheap like for 65 pounds all in all including the lenses you get everything including the frame so that's a pretty cheap deal especially for those that lose sunglasses so guys do remind me if you're if you happen to be one of those people right so if we move on to the next one we have a pair here by this one i've tried to clean with a uh, clean with a lint roller guys but it's i'm not able to clean it so bear bear with me with this one but yeah this is made by a very popular brand oliver peoples if you guys have noticed if you see my other videos where I wear my specs uh, for vision they're there by Oliver people as well and it's inherently a very old brand that's built a huge amount of reputation haunts it's got huge prices in terms of it's expensive and you know it's housed or worn by a lot of celebrities so yeah this is the Oliver people uh, glasses these were very expensive guys very expensive and I as soon as I brought them I damaged them straight away like the arm got a little bit bent so yeah uh, I think it was just the glasses alone 350 pounds I know it's very expensive um that's just the, the glasses alone that's not including like um the lens or anything so yeah it's just a simple black case and the, the actual quality of this case is actually shocking because for the the price I've paid I've I've got better cases from the other brands this is just, you can see this is housing some damage on the in the corners so look see there I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah it's got a bit of damage which is not too great inside it looks like this this is how the Oliver people looks it's still I've tried to clean it from the front but it's still a bit dirty I don't know why it's really hard to clean but yeah this is how it looks like from the front and these specific frames are incredibly delicate and uh, they've been handcrafted in Italy which is um, an extra bonus for these the actual model here is the Oliver people's O'Malley NYC NYC OV518 3SM just so for those guys that want to know so let's try these on and just the frame color is tortoise again with them um, it's got a blue hint of uh, color in, in the lens so right what do you guys think 
do you like do you not like what's your views let me know these i'm hoping it's straight on my face because like i said the arm's damaged on one of these um so yeah that's how it, it's a bit annoying to keep this straight but this is how it looks like here and that's kind of the side angle Ugh, it keeps falling to one side which is a bit annoying but yeah that's one thing i would say that these if you go for oliver people they, their frames are quite delicate the same issue for my specs so if you don't take care of them you're gonna be losing a, a lot of money and with this uh, i haven't got any oliver people um kind of dealer or like authorized reseller near me where i could have taken these to repair because you can't take it to a normal uh, opticians there is because it's so delicate if they damage it then you know they're not really responsible you need to take it to someone that deals with these kind of frames even if you have to pay them they'll be they know how to you know uh fix it so yeah this is how this one looks i actually really really like the designs for these i think these look super cool and stylish and yeah it's a nice frame it's expensive it's stylish it's well well made to some extent it's a bit fragile but great frame all in all for style so yeah that's a that's the oliver people oh miley so let's move on to the next frame which is going to be my most recent purchase guys uh this is the saint saint laurent and you can see it's got the name on the case i'm not actually sure if the case is leather so i don't think it is leather but i may be completely wrong so this is essentially how it comes out and this is how the glasses looks here so again i just realized most of my frames are tortoise so the color and uh uh, I just feel like the reason that, that is is I think brown frames anything in the brown shade tortoise Havana it just suits my color skin better so black is okay but it's not the best for my color skin um, so yeah that's why I probably inherently do lean more towards these kind of brownish colors but yeah so it's like a brownish frame as you can see as uh, green hints in the lens and that's the option I went for when I did choose this model is SL28 slim 003 so let's get these bad boys on wait let's see here yeah what do you guys think these are incredibly lightweight there's hardly any weight to these glasses they they don't actually weigh that much so that's a bonus thing because some of the frames they sit quite heavy on your nose and it just feels a little bit uncomfortable it just feels like you've got a lot of weight on your face these and the next ones i want to show you uh, those are quite these are quite light these pacific two i'm going to show you uh, this one and the next one uh, neck so yeah this is a lovely frame again i really really like this um yeah and um wait let's see the yeah this is how it looks so yeah if you do guys have any questions regarding any of these frames do now note it below in the comments i'll be more than happy to address your comments but the price for this including the lens was around I've actually got a discount code from Mr. Specs. That is a, a company based in Germany. And with the discount code, I uh, got it for £283. So, yeah, that's not bad because if you buy these frames alone from any kind of place, it's around that price £280 or £260, depending where you buy it, just the frames alone. So, that with the prescription lens uh, is a fantastic deal. And that's purely because I've got a good discount on it otherwise it would have been considerably more expensive so it's a beautiful frame it's lightweight and uh, yeah I, I can't wait to wear these ones in the summer because like I said these are a very very recent purchase so finally guys I'm going to be going over my last frame here and these frames is not actually this isn't the case I've got them in but I changed it just so it's a bit more durable to get Ray-Bans again but like I said before I, I'm not a major fan um, of their case it's just a bit like scatty and also I'm worried that I've accidentally 
uh, you know, you sit on it or you just put weight on it or break the glasses and it kind of inherently the same worry with the Saint Laurent uh, the case. So it, it looks kind of similar so that's a bit of a concern there. So I might change this but yeah, this is just a simple uh, case I got from Amazon and it was like around £12 to house these in. So yeah, these are the oldest frames I'm going to show you. Uh, they're around 6 and a half years old roughly around that price around that period and uh, I'm just cleaning the lens for you so I can show you and I think uh, in terms of the pricing I'm not going to be able to clarify a price uh, these are the a black frame which I just realized now when I looked at it and uh, it's got polarized lenses because when I chose these frames and the the specs I was going to go for it in terms of like the prescription and you know just the general specs I went for polarized and uh, yeah I'm going to show you these now so again like I said with the previous Saint Laurent ones these are really lightweight it's like you're wearing nothing this is six years later guys over six years later and they're still holding up fantastic it still looks like they're new and I would I wear them every summer as well so they're made pretty strong and these are and these are one of Ray-Ban's um, you know styles that never go out of date it's one of their common styles that have been around for ages and that's the Wayfarer model so yeah black uh, with quite dark lens let's get this on my face yeah what do you think guys these ones yeah they're not bad they're not bad because I've I've just got kind of used to the other frame styles uh, but these do look stylish in their own respects it's just that I've had these for a long time now and I've kind of got well bored of them a little bit but I mean they held up well it just needs to be tightened because it's very loose on my face now as you can see it's just like sliding in and out it's there's no kind of um, hold on my face um, but yeah otherwise it's not bad it's not bad I guess um, yeah so this is the last pair guys this is uh, all my sunglasses collection I've got one two three four five if I've counted correctly yeah five pairs of sunglasses um, which I've brought over time I haven't brought them like in one year so yeah I'm just gonna switch to another pair because I don't know why I'm not exactly 100% fond of these stars. I think I'm leaning more towards the Tom Fords because they're a little bit bigger and I've noticed that this, you know it's kind of a common theme with women these days when bigger frames on the little bit bigger for their face so yeah this is the one I'm kind of leaning towards so I'm just gonna put these on that's all my frames guys like I said before if you have any questions feel free to note them below uh, hit the like button if you did like this video uh, keep an eye out for my next video uh, when it hopefully will come out next week so I'm doing one video a week so I'll try to schedule more but it depends on timing and yeah uh, I look forward to see you guys in my next video and I hope you enjoyed seeing my sunglasses collection take care guys have a lovely week bye